the two monks. Two monks must cross the great river to reach the village on an errand for the monastery. When they approach the river, a woman is struggling to cross. One of the monks swiftly picks her up, carries her across the river, and places her on the other shore. For monks, even being in the presence of a woman is forbidden. After several miles, the other monk bursts forth. Uh, how could you do such a thing? How could you touch a woman? <laughs> Replied the other monk, I put that woman down miles ago, but you are still carrying her. I like this one, and it actually syncs up with several of the previous parables. If you are mentally holding on to something, it can put a strain on you if you let it dwell, winding it around your mental consciousness until it can even drive you mad. The easiest way to rid yourself of these mental strains is simply to let go, take a deep breath, breathe it all in. As you exhale, let it go. <sighs> Whatever it may be, just release it from your mind and once again move into a state of mental clarity. I think we have time for one more. I agree. How about this one? Oh, I like that one! An elderly Chinese woman had two large pots, each hung on the end of a pole which she carried across her neck. One of the pots had a crack in it while the other pot was perfect and always delivered a full portion of water. At the end of the long walk from the stream to the house, the crack pot always arrived only half full. For a full two years, this went on daily, with the woman bringing home only one and a half pots of water. Of course, the perfect pot was proud of its accomplishments, but the poor, cracked pot was ashamed of its imperfection and miserable that it could only do half of what it had been made to do. After two years of what it perceived to be bitter failure, it spoke to the woman one day by the stream. I'm ashamed of myself because this crack in my side causes water to leak out all the way back to your house. The old woman smiled. Did you notice that there are flowers on your side of the path, but not on the other pot side? That's because I have always known about your flaw, so I planted flower seeds on your side of the path, and every day while we walk back, you water them. For two years, I have been able to pick these beautiful flowers to decorate the table. Without you being just the way you are, there would not be this beauty to grace the house. We'll let you think on this one. Namaste! Namaste.